Previously on The Influencer, contestants were required to conceptualize a Microsoft app not already available in the App Store. Vernon and Rebecca took charge of their respective blue and red teams, away from the less assertive, appointed team leaders, Jacqueline and Chris. However, Chris comes to life in the second challenge, while the blue team begins to feel the pressure. The red team, with Chris and Rebecca showing top form, went on to dominate the second half. Tell me, what's your point when you go to the mall, do you want to go for food, fashion, health or all? Ultimately, judges deemed Rebecca and Vernon the most influential and had to choose two contestants to eliminate. But the very first thing you did was to give up the leadership. Ani, your ideas did not somehow make it into the team. You've both failed to assert your influence. Now, eight contestants remain. Ten of Malaysia's best-known online personalities, each with different spheres of influence ranging from fashion and beauty to food, travel and technology, they have come together from all walks of life to fight it out and to see which amongst them has the ability to assert their influence in areas beyond their own expertise. Fields, dominated by other contestants. All they've got to do is be the last contestant standing. This is The Influencer. For today's challenge, our eight remaining contestants assembled in Taman Si Pataling Jaya at the Konji International Beauty and Makeup Academy. Our favourite online personalities who managed to survive the first cut had no doubt undergone a baptism of fire in the previous week and should be coming into this episode better prepared. There were 10 contestants, only 8 remain, but there are only 7 people here in front of us. The big bombshell is that Cheesy has withdrawn due to unforeseen circumstances. After much consultation and deliberation by the previous judges, they have decided to bring one person back from the throes of elimination. Welcome back, Jacqueline. This is your golden opportunity to assert your influence this round. Uh, I'll try my best. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you okay. so much. So we have four judges today. First, we have Nawal Jess. She's a fashion designer. We have Paley, who is the trainer of Konji Beauty and Makeup Academy. And we have Jen Vin, who is a model and an actress. And we have Edda. She is the marketing manager of Nokia Malaysia. And the objective for all eight contestants is to assert your influence. So are you all ready for today's challenge? Yeah. Today is a beauty challenge. So there will be four teams and each team has to pit amongst each other to create the best look that we give you. The team leader for Team A is Karen Ko. And her team member is Abok. <laughs> so for Team B, Jacqueline Gunn And her team member is Ben Ashari For Team C, Chris Uri And your team member is Vernon <laughs> Team D, your team leader is Kelly Chin. And of course, your team member is Rebecca Song. The team leaders step forward. 
for Jacqueline Gunn, your team will be making up avant-garde experimental. Ooh. Kelly Chin, rock goth. Ooh. For Karen Ko, geisha oriental. Ooh. Chris Uy, bridal innocent. <laughs> Ah, like that one. Like that. Contestants have five minutes to make use of the Nokia Lumia 1520 to research the looks given to them. But the problem is, I don't think we have white created or the accessories, alright? See what we can do with the accessories. Okay. Ah, okay, I got rock hair, okay. Uh, so can, we, can we put it up there? Okay, can we do this now? Alright. This is very yeah, the first one. Not sure. Tasked along with Chris to accomplish this look, Bridal Innocence, Vernon browses the net on the Nokia Lumia 1520, but gets a little more than what he bargained for when he mistakenly types the name Kate Upton, when in fact he was looking for images of Kate Middleton. Just then, guest judge Edda Lim checks up on the two to see how they are getting along with the challenge. With a bit of guidance, they find themselves on the right track. I'm converting at the moment to sexy geisha. Need something dark. Yellow and purple, okay? Okay, do contrast. I do the silver and black. Okay, can. Hmm. So many many years, and this is the first time makeup for other. A 6 inch 1080p full HD display and 20 megapixel camera, tell your story better with Storyteller on the Nokia Lumia 1520. So basically, we found this makeup from the online. So I did her, I did his, <laughs> the the foundation with uh, using the white color eyeshadow. But uh, we found this from the dining table to mash up with the makeup okay. to make it more like 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 the geisha look. For her eyes, uh, I used two two color, which is uh, purple and silver or white side on the left hand side and also some white glitter on the other side black lipstick on the upper lips mm. just to create contrast because I think uh, for rock gold it's a bit more of like it, it shocks you yeah, I just told her like you know if my husband punched me in one eye is, is that is it looking like that and she said yeah we got that this is my first ever makeup do in my life I actually had my best try 
come out with the same fat, innocent look with my partner. Please welcome my brother. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's just some basic because since it's innocent, so we're not gonna put it, make it too hairy, you know what I mean? So, yeah, this is our concept. For his eye makeup, it's very colourful um, because he has darker skin tone, so you can't really see it, but I'll try my best. We have purple, green, yellow, and pink, actually, for the black shirt. Um, you want to tell them more about the line? Line? The picture. This is my idea. Gambarkan, um, I'm a man. Okay? Dari keneng sampai ke bawah, Mean I am strong man. All right. This side means uh, more happiness, and this side I have sad moment. Uh, yes. Yeah. And now there's a twist to the challenge. Of course, the team members will be the team leaders. So we'll switch it around. And the second part of the challenge is that you have to direct a photo shoot of your own. You're allowed to go around the studio or even outside and follow the theme that we've given you. You have 15 minutes for that challenge. For three best pictures, you will select your own best picture and pass it to us. And you're going to take the picture with the Nokia Lumia 1520. Good luck to all teams. Each of the four teams now have 30 minutes to complete their looks. Ben, Rebecca, Vernon and Abok will now have to direct their teammates to produce three photographs with the Nokia Lumia 1520 that best depict their team's makeup styles. Vernon and Chris decide to take their photo shoot outside of the Konji Academy premises. Change your pose. Anything you can think in your mind, change your pose. Look up. This side. Yes. Pull your side. I know you can. I, can, I know you can do what. Something. It's something that I've got. Ah, no, that's okay. No, that's okay. We need some fat. I'm down. Rebecca and Kelly, having exhausted most of the available corners within the Konji Academy studio floor, are the next to move outside. Both Vernon and Chris are beginning to have a lot of fun with each other's company and with the challenge. Perhaps a little too much fun as Chris takes unnecessary risks with his personal safety and both of them are beginning to lose track of time. This despite our camera operator's warning. Guys, nice, time's up! Leg, 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 leg out, leg out, leg out, leg, leg in the flame. Meanwhile, Abok and Karen are pretty much done with their photo shoot and decide it wouldn't hurt to pick up a picture or two outside with some spare time remaining. Time's up for our contestants, as most of them head back up the stairs to the studio of Konji Academy. Chris and Vernon, on the other hand, have completely forgotten that they are participating in a time challenge. At least I know how to catch angle, like make it more art. I'm sweating. Welcome back teams! All four teams actually participated very well but one team came back late and we are very strict about punctuality so Edda here has something to share with you. Sorry Team Beautiful Bride, you are late for two minutes 
uh, what we need to do is to reduce the number of pictures that you can participate. So from three, now you're down to only one. Please choose only one best picture. Contestants will now have to select pictures from their photo shoot that best represent their respective looks. Okay. Okay, then the first, the one on the bike. First motorbike, yeah? Mm. Okay. Yeah. The high-res one, eh? No, no, no one closed. closed. No smile. Yeah. No smile. This picture, what do you think? I thought it was quite sexy. <laughs> <laughs> the way he positioned his face, you know, that way, and I was looking the other side. Very photogenic. Yeah. <laughs> He's very good in taking the angle. Yeah, he wants to show the profile. Mm. It's even more complicated. I don't like the photo. It's like you want to focus on the chair or on him? Yeah. When the two of them are interacting, like there's like no teamwork there. I feel mm -hmm. like Jacqueline is trying to finish the task. Her focus is always trying to get the makeup done. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't see the collaborative effort between Ben and also Jacqueline. Jack, yeah. They seem to be like uh, doing their stuff on their own. Wow. Rebecca, I like the idea. Mm -hmm. Because she's like blocking the road. I feel a lot of her personality in the picture too. Strong. She portrays a very, very strong image. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit uh, dominating sometimes. Wow. wow! This is a cool concept. Yeah, Love it. Nice. It also shows the personality that she is the person that takes risks. Yes. Yeah, it, it looks very that, daring. Yeah, very, very daring. daring. And I would want to follow her, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Looking at the stunts, you know, the it's creativity, the way she yes. portrays her image and personality. If you know. I want to look for something new, I would follow her. Yeah. Kelly okay. seems a bit soft to mm -hmm. me, but she executes very well. Very well. Her technique in terms of putting on the makeup, it was fantastic. Um, I would like to see more of her, you know, leading mm -hmm. the conversation. Yeah, but that's yeah. why they, they are a team because one has to be strong, one has to be soft. This is this is very nice. It is. Yeah. It's really got the I think dish. this is my favorite pictures. Actually, they work quite well together. It's they, like the thing is like supposed to be influencer. Like they did well, but I feel like Karen. I don't remember. Wow. Oh, oh, this is nice. Yeah, the picture tells cool. a story, you know? Yeah. But I felt that when I interact with Karen and mm -hmm. Bok, right, most of the time Bok is the one who basically respond. So I, 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 I thought Karen could be a little bit more outspoken so we can also sort of see where she's coming from, mm -hmm. what's her idea, yeah. and it doesn't seem like it's just one person Person's work. Yeah. Karen, yeah. she's very good in using, because the eyeshadow is powder, it's very hard to apply on the whole face. Mm -hmm. And she knows how to use water yeah. to apply and it makes it stick. Mm -hmm. For me, right, Geisha, the team is quite easy. Yeah. yeah. Because it's all white. All oh, white and the lips. Small lips. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> huh. so freedom. Okay. I know. This, this is, is like mermaid. mermaid. Yeah. This is like mermaid. Mermaid. It's like, yeah, but, but but I don't get the, the dying mermaid. Do you do? Do you see the team? I don't feel it's innocent bride. I feel more like it's an innocent dying girl. And you can't even see the makeup mm -hmm. because this challenge is about the makeup. Yes, it's very I cannot feel the innocence. Where is the innocent part? Yeah, but to be fair to them, the innocent uh, bridal makeup, right? It's very hard. It's to very see. hard. Yes, it's very hard. Because it's supposed to be really calm, very angelic. Yeah. And they should focus on the portrait more picture. instead of the ah, whole let's whole watch picture. picture. This is the hardest team among all the team. Yeah, because someone is a male model. And he has this what, beard. He's a yeah, goatee. Yeah. 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 Now I would like to call four names and can you please step forward. Can we please have Karen, Ben, Abok and Rebecca please. Thank you very much. Now Abok, as the judges mentioned, they really, really love your picture. It can be on the cover of a magazine, I think. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have three very, very different teams as well. Mm -hmm. So we're amazed one over one of them. Yes. All right. The star you brought us through all those different pictures. So we like it. Okay. And for Rebecca, they actually really like your pictures too. Well, we really like your personality. Um, we feel like you're a very good influencer, a very good leader. We like how you communicate with your team members and how not only do you have a strong opinion, but you also listen to other people's opinions. We really like that. So looking forward to see you speak up more so that I can know you from a real person. But I think I don't get that uh, when we were interacting. Yeah. Okay. 
we love your makeup, we love your creativity, don't get us wrong. It's just that we feel like in this competition, we kind of want to see who stands out. And we felt like the personality-wise, we couldn't feel your vibe. So I'm sorry to say that both of you have failed to assert your influence. I hope all of the contestants still can do well at the next round. At that time, judges, Chinese people, I can, I can just can smile. Nak jawab ke tak boleh sangat sebab I kena pay attention sebab apa, apa dia nak buat kan So tak apalah, memang bukan rezeki saya lah Coming up on The Influencer Our six remaining contestants head over to the Good Batch Cafe and restaurant in Damansara Utama, Petaling Jaya for a food challenge Having won twice now, will Rebecca make it three in a row? Tune in to the next episode to find out.